Deputy Matty McGrath, please. I note the motion um, condemns the unnecessary anxiety and anger experienced by the public in the last eight weeks since the bus connects or disconnects have been appropriately um, described. Consultations have commenced and that it proposes to reverse the, um, the, the calling of bus routes across Dublin and its greater area. Interesting, this has happened in Dublin. There's normally not room on the streets for the buses. And when you had the new Lewis, you couldn't get it across the Connell Bridge. You, you measured it wrong. So as a rural TD, I can absolutely understand that anxiety. People in rural Ireland live with that on a daily basis. And I'm not anti-Dublin one bit, but I'm just for fair play for ordinary uh, consumers, ordinary taxpayers, and ordinary people who want a decent uh, transport service. Uh, we hear so much about emissions, and we hear so much about the, you know, pollution and change our ways. And wh wh where are we going here? This is typical Department of Transport. I know to respect you, Minister, at all, but Carwell and Tara, where's the Minister gone? Every time there's anything on here, uh, Tara Ross, any time there's anything on here, when any of us rural independents come in, he, he flies like snow off a ditch. He's that scared. He's that scared. And I mean, this is appalling, not a mess that he's presiding over. This is the man who could, who could write in his Sunday papers ad infinitum. What couldn't he do? He could do everything. He was really infallible. And when he, got to, when he became minister, he can do, tweet them all on a confusion and destruction and allowing uh, people like this and, and the TII and uh, Road Transport Authority and God knows who else to the Quangos, as he called them, the Quango Queens and the Quango he wrote about, railed about for decades. And now he's promoting them and patting them on the back and siding with them and let them run right, which is what they're doing. The Department of Transport found 2.3 million for consultants. Uh, while the rural bus proposal is to get a mere 450,000, this is the one during our debate on the road traffic bill that he said he'd give us, um, he'd give us, um, he threw us up 450,000 pounds. <laughs> Welcome, if it's only 45,000, uh, but it wouldn't run uh, the administration system for rural bus service. But he had 2.3 million uh, to give to, uh, to, uh, to, to um, outside consultants. As I said, uh, I got confirmation through the uh, Department of Transport that they paid 2.3 million to a private consulting firm in 2017. And that will uh, generate considerable anger, and has done, and frustration, particularly in light of the fact that the Department proposes to spend uh, five times less than that figure to, find, to fund the rural bus link uh, of 50, for 50 communities uh, for, uh, in 2018. So, I mean, who's cutting who? How can the Minister Ross continue to maintain that his plan to tackle rural isolation has even a shred of credibility when we now know that the entire uh, 450,000 budget for the rural bus link scheme pales into uh, insignificance when compared to the millions he's paying private consultancy firms? It's all about spin now in consultancy firms and consultation. And I do hope that the consultation will be meaningful. But all these consultations are meaningless, I, I fear, because they're dictated, uh, same as on post now with an independent review, they're dictated by the terms of reference. And we're paying consultants to give us the answers we want, what the government wants, and to hell about the people and their views, to hell about the people of Dublin as well. And I support uh, uh, the, the people here this evening that are, that are really against that. What will be more galling for the people in rural communities, as it is a confirmation that um, 2.3 million cost was given to ACOM, A E C O M, a US firm that describes itself, wait for it, as a global network of experts who aim to deliver transformative outcome. I knew Minister Ross was good at the vocabulary always, but he's, he should get a medal for this. And the consultants, under his watch, he wrote about this. Day in, day out, he railed about it up here in the back bench here when I was in technical group with him, and he spoke about it in the Senate for a lifetime. <laughs> and now he's, now, he's, now he's retired into his palatial palace of his ministerial office across the road. He was going to transform the place. And he goes hiding when anyone stands up here to challenge him. He answered the wrong question this morning. Somebody had a question this morning. I had one, he was waiting. And he read out the wrong answer. And he was sports person, he was coming back. He didn't know what game they played. He didn't know what planet they were on. And he didn't know what medal they won. Wrong name, wrong person. Sorry. He, tw he, tw he tweets something that he sees off the RT website. That's wrong. He's wrong. Yeah, He's a I where is he? He's just been. He's a where is he? Where is he? When friends fall out, they fall out big time. <laughs> but that's his choice to fall out with me. I'm just saying this is a farce. He's presiding over it. He had the new Lewis. He was sulking when uh, the tree shook and others decided to open it down the road here on Stevens Green. Or down in. Um, down in. No, down, no, down in the road in, in, in the street. What's it called? Below here. 
just down 400 yards from the, from the building, straight down the Dawson, Street. Dawson Street. And then he got one for the, for the, for the city, and I couldn't get across the Connell Bridge. I mean, it just blocked up the traffic for too long. I suppose these fellows designed that. They never measured the bridge, I suppose. They didn't care. Uh, but this kind of money going to consultants, which he railed about for decades, it's an anathema to ordinary people, ordinary taxpayers. It's outrageous. So I said, uh, the minister's department paid um, this a AECOM a 1.3 million in 2017 for wait for an, an evaluation of sustainable transport areas. It might do in the Bronx, or it might do in Washington, but it's not fit for Dublin. And that's what we're paying good money for, have pressed taxpayers' money for. And I said, uh, th th they, we have no figures for 2018, but he's given these, uh, his kids, we don't know what they're getting. We have no idea as to what they paid them in 2018, as that uh, detail has not been provided. This is unbelievable stuff. And he runs out of the chamber then when he expects someone to come in and challenge him. And the face of it, there's only one clear winner in all of this, and it's not rural Ireland. And in this case, it's not uh, Dublin either, our capital city. It sure is not. However, even if we leave aside the private consultancy fees, it has also been confirmed to me that the department paid out, we'll hear this one now, a separate 544,000 in 2017 for incidental expenses. Was that camera footage I wanted to take pictures of Danny Hilly Ray at the All Island? He didn't know where Coe Park was two years ago himself. I had to show him where it was. I had to show him where Jones Road was. And that's the kind of a man we have now that's, that's yeah, happy to sit with. And, 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 and come in and make excuses for him and disappear. That's what we're dealing with. As I said, 544,000. He'd have some article in Independent, wouldn't fit in the back page about that if he was still in opposition. About the 544,000 incidental expenses. It's spent, spent, spent. Get me here, get me there, get me anywhere. They were going to go out to me and come drum on or wherever they want. But he didn't go and stay out there himself in that, Minister Halligan and the others. Again, as I said, that's hundreds of thousands more than the entire budget of the rural bus proposal. This incidental expense said in the department, €544,000, and we get, for the whole country of Ireland, the peasants can go back into their caves, as far as he's concerned, 450000 This is the insulting way he talks to these people and talks to all of us. All of this demonstrates that when it comes to addressing rural uh, isolation, the Department of Transport is reluctant to spend what is needed. Yet when it comes to fees, private consultancy costs and expenses, money will always be found and tickets for the World Cup and tickets for everything else. And I, I know he's played the hockey, I didn't know he was that into some other sports, but um, we saw the unfavourable way he treated um, uh, rural communities as against his own with the, with the sports capital grants, which he said he had nothing to do with, he wouldn't be involved. He's above all that stuff. So I don't know what he's above. I don't know what he's at, but I hope he goes back to this and have a meaningful consultation. I don't accept the consultation on the grounds of terms of reference that he brings up because it will be a, an answer, a desired answer to, for this consultancy, uh, consultants to get more money, to have the consultation and eat, eat, let him eat cake. That's the situation. That's what will happen. And the people are tired and sick and tired of that. And I'm tired of the public of dealing with that. The system who doesn't care about the people. We're public servants in here. We're, we're, we're elected um, representatives to deal with the, or look after the people. Not waste money and waste money and waste money. To get a meeting now with the TII representatives, you would meet the Pope a lot easier. And you, they won't meet anybody. And they won't, you can't discuss a speed limit that they make it hames of. No, they're untouchable. We had the NRA and we got rid of them. And I had said several times we had the IRA and we decommissioned them. And we had to get left with the NRA. Now we have the TII, different name. It's an insult to our, our intelligence, the way they're treating the people, and the way they're treating this house, and the way they're treating um, all of us. Because it's merry go round of money and spin and, and um, this, all these consultants. And uh, as I said, waste of money. And this, um, I'm, nothing, I'm not anti American at all at all. But we, uh, if we couldn't get consultants from Ireland, uh, some people from Ireland, if we got an ordinary group together uh, from, from a secondary school, they would have a, a concept of how we could uh, better the travel situation Thank and the transport system in Dublin, not file out millions to a, a US company uh, who gives us this kind of uh, diatribe at the end of it. So, Gormahagot, Thank you very much.